Hello everyone, you're welcome to Jam Vibes. Guys, there is a huge shaker already in the South African political sphere. And most important is the fact that, apparently, some South African boa could definitely become the next South African president. And this has left a whole lot of people thinking, shaking and pondering upon the whole idea of someone from the DA taking over South Africa, given to the fact that many want Ramaphosa to step down. Guys, I'm here to give you all so much information about what is actually ongoing, so make sure to stay glued and watch this video right up to the end. Before that, kindly do well to follow Jam Vibes, please. Like this video, drop a comment, and above all, share this video with all of your friends and loved ones. Following the aftermath of the May 29th elections, South Africa's political arena finds itself teetering on the edge of substantial shifts. With the African National Congress, popularly abbreviated as the ANC, clinching a mere 40.18% of the vote, falling short of a majority for the autonomous governance, unprecedented political maneuvers loom large. The emergence of the Democratic Alliance, popularly abbreviated as the DA, under the leadership of Mr. John, capturing 21.81% of the vote, as a pivotal player, injects a layer of complexity into the unfolding narrative, potentially altering the nation's trajectory. Phase 1. Coalition negotiations commence in the face of its diminished mandate. The ANC has initiated efforts to secure coalition alliances to sustain its authority. Talks with the traditionally oppositional DA have already commenced signaling a departure from conventional political affiliations. Analysts perceive this coalition as a pragmatic move, prioritizing national stability over partisan agendas. An ANC-DA coalition will signify a significant departure, emphasizing a commitment to national unity, remarks Professor Tandy Moyo, highlighting the strategic opportunity for the DA to exert influence. Phase 2. Uncertainty surrounds Mashatile amid coalition deliberations. Conjecture abounds regarding ANC Deputy President Paul Mashatile, who faces potential corruption allegations. His potential removal could plunge the ANC into internal upheaval, further complicating its position. Should Mashatile be removed, the proposal to appoint Mr. John as Deputy President could stabilize the coalition. Mr. John's integrity and leadership qualities could restore public confidence and ensure the functionality of the coalition. Phase 3. Mr. John's ascendance assuming the role of Deputy President Mr. John will prioritize anti-corruption initiatives and economic reforms, leveraging his decisive nature and transparent leadership style to garner widespread support. Political analyst Zanele Dlamini observes, and I quote, Mr. John's elevation could bridge the ideological divide between the ANC's support base and the DA's reform agenda. Phase 4. Palapala scandal redux. The stability of the coalition could come under the scrutiny if the Freedom Front Plus, that is the EFF Plus, resurrects the Palapala scandal implicating President Ramaphosa. Allegations of financial misconduct could prompt a renewed parliamentary inquiry and potential impeachment. In the event of Ramaphosa's removal, consensus may definitely silence around Mr. John, solidifying his standing as a capable leader. Inauguration of Mr. John, or should I say the president of the DA, should these developments materialize? Mr. John could ascend to the presidency, signaling a momental shift in South African politics. His tenure will likely prioritize transparency, accountability, and economic revitalization. In his inaugural address, the president of the DA might underscore the imperative of unity and ethical governance, charting a new course for the nation. While speculative, this narrative underscores 
the fluidity of South Africa's political landscape. The possibility of Mr. John, the president of the DA's transition from opposition leader to president, epitomizes the nation's evolving political fabric, navigating intricate coalition dynamics and strategic maneuvers as it charts its path forward. Tell me what you think in the comment section.